So yeah, this is my vlog. I'm totally going to sit here and eat ice cream while I make this vlog. Because I can. Because it's my vlog and I do what I want. What if I fall and hurt myself? Would you know how to fix me? What if I went and lost myself? Would you know where to find me if I fall? So yeah, this vlog's kind of late. Get over it. Um, I uh, was supposed to have my mom come over today. And so I was kind of like getting the house ready and doing stuff for that. Because I wanted to make some paintings up for her birthday and make her cake and stuff. And then we had a blizzard today. So this is the second weekend in a row that she's had to cancel coming out here. Which makes me really sad. But next weekend, we're planning for them to come out again. And if it blizzards again next weekend, I'm getting mad. <laughs> but I guess we're getting like five to seven or five to eight inches today. And uh, it's probably not a good idea for her to be driving, especially because it's supposed to get worse and worse as the day progresses. And I don't want her to get stranded here. No party this weekend. I'm glad I didn't make the cake already. <laughs> because, um... Yeah, I'm making her a baby Ruth cake, which is like her favorite thing in the world. It's kind of expensive. There's a lot that goes into it. So I don't want to waste the ingredients or make her eat like week old cake. Like here, I made this cake for you a week ago. Enjoy. Say hi, Kaya. Hi. So Kaya's had an issue at school lately. For the past couple of weeks, there's been a boy at school that's been picking on her. Well, punching. He punches. Um, not pushing down. Pushes you down. What else does he do? Put snow all the way down to my back that's really cold. Oh no, and he throws snowballs at you too, huh? Yep. <laughs> and I told the teacher, and he's like, no, he did not do that, so he's lying. So, um, we had a problem the other day getting her ready for school and she's crying and fussing that she doesn't want to go and that's really odd for her um, because Kaya loves school she loves school I've never had a problem getting her to go to school before and uh, I called her into my room I said Kaya why don't you want to go to school what's the problem and she told me that this boy was picking on her so I told daddy and daddy when he took her to school he told the teacher, and I guess the next day, the teacher had a big talk with all the kids, the whole class, huh? Talked about keeping your hands to yourselves, and personal space, and respecting others, and treating others the way you want to be treated. And then, right after that talk, as they're getting ready to leave to go home, this little boy pushes her down onto her backpack, and she gets hurt. And when she got home, she told me about it. And I said, well, did you tell your teacher? And no, she didn't. <laughs> she, uh, I guess they were getting ready to leave. And um, she was in a big crowd of kids walking out the door. And then she saw dad picking her up. And she just forgot to tell. So I told Patrick about it the next day, which was yesterday. When he took her to school, he told her teacher. And she, uh, I guess, is going to keep a better eye on things and make sure that this little boy isn't hurting her anymore and you know possibly might call his parents I don't know we didn't discuss it any further than that um, but I am probably gonna contact her um, the end of next week and just make sure that everything is going okay and that Kaya feels safe because um, I haven't heard any more issues after that. Um, when Patrick took her to school yesterday and talked to the teacher, Kaya came home and said that they were fine and that they even played together and he was nice. So that's a good thing, huh? Mm -hmm. Yay! And we were playing Mario. Yeah, you were playing Mario. But, you know, hopefully it continues and he doesn't uh, 
he doesn't pick on her anymore. Because that's no fun, huh? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to stop being there to record them, so it's going to be like... So much to cut out. Mm. But she'll work out. We took her to see the allergist out here for her checkup with him. And he looked up her labs and everything, and he said that her food allergies were not that bad as he originally thought and that she didn't require a special diet anymore. So we uh, brought her home and I made her mac and cheese with real milk and real cheese and she was so excited about that. And I gave her that and then with dinner she had some real sour cream on her baked potato and she was so happy, huh? And then that night, she spent the entire night clutching her stomach and crying in pain. The whole night. She was up almost all night crying because her stomach hurt so bad. And so I called the doctor um, on Thursday, and I said, you know, you guys told me that she was fine, and she was not fine. Um, I ended up giving her some, and it was awful. So, yeah, she does need a special diet. And, you know, you guys telling me that she didn't ended up putting her through quite a nasty ordeal. And I wasn't happy about it. But they did end up sending the letter. They faxed the letter to her school saying that she needs a special diet. And her school is actually going to make her hot lunches. You know, she gets free lunch now. And they're doing special um, lunches for her every single day. And on Friday... She got to have hot lunch for the first time at school, and that was awesome, huh? But then come to find out when she gets home that they only serve milk to drink at school. And, and chocolate milk. Yeah, milk and chocolate milk. And she asked for something to drink, and they said, well, we got to go get you juice. Hold on a minute. And then they never brought her anything to drink. And so she didn't have anything to drink at lunchtime. And I'm kind of upset about that. Like, maybe they need to have something on hand, like some apple juice or something for her. Because uh, that's not cool, you know. That's not good for her stomach, her digestive system. And I'm really getting sick and tired of having to call the school and complain. I've had to call about bullies. I've had to call about, you know, this. I've had to call because she threw up on her shoes and nobody told me about it. It's just, it's starting to get kind of ridiculous. I mean, I'm getting sick and tired of calling the school and complaining. Will you quit it? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you know, I want the best for her. And that's not acceptable to not get a kid something to drink when they're thirsty at lunch. When they're supposed to, you know, that's your job is to... Make sure that these kids are eating and drinking, you know, replenishing their fuel for the day. I'm really happy we are getting our internet turned back on today, which is awesome. Um, so yay for that. <laughs> I'm going to have, like, quite a few um, videos to upload here now because I, I keep making videos, but I don't have internet to upload them. So I'm literally probably going to be spending all of tonight and, like, half of tomorrow uploading <laughs> videos. <laughs> that I've made. I think there's like three or four. There's like two or three vlogs and the mashup. Ready for ice cream. I'm eating ice cream through this like whole video. Mm. I'm probably going to cut most of it out so you're just going to get like random extra swallowing and drool. <laughs> there's like probably like five actual minutes of me talking out of the 14 minutes and like 39 seconds so far. Like, the rest of it is me eating and tickling Kaya and, like, going to check on the baby. <laughs> so, Patrick and I have medical insurance again, and we both have appointments, finally, to go see a doctor. Um, so, yay. Yay for that. Um, I just need a regular checkup, but Patrick has so many health problems right now. I'm really worried about him, so I'm really glad that he's going to be able to go see a doctor. I've been so worried about his back. He's got scoliosis. I don't know if anybody knows that or not, but he's got scoliosis, and it's not, like, super severe, but it's bad enough that it's causing him issues. And, uh, you know, when he works a job that's very physically demanding, um, he comes home so sore sometimes that it's just, it's awful. I feel so bad for him. I'm really glad that he's going to finally maybe get to go get an X, uh, x-ray or an MRI or something. You know, have a doctor look at it, maybe get hooked up with an orthopedic. 
see if this is something that, you know, maybe he can get some help with, maybe a back brace or something, you know, prescribed to help him out. He needs to keep working and have a job, but I don't want him, you know, being in pain. That's, that sucks. So. The house is such a mess right now. Um, I mean, it's not that bad. I can't say it's such a mess because for the most part it's, it's picked up, but the kitchen's kind of yucky and I have some laundry to put away. Okay. I have a list of like seven or eight things that I really want to get done right now. And I just like, I haven't even started. I've been just really not motivated to do any of it at all. So yay for that. I really need to find a way to motivate myself better because this is just like, you know, I make these lists for myself and I set these goals and then <laughs> I'm like, yay, I'm going to do this. And then when the time comes, I'm like, I'm so not going to do this. <laughs> um, what, what can you do? You know, I just, I feel bad because Patrick works really, 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 really hard. And, uh, you know, I want to put, I want this to be a partnership. I want to put in my 50%, you know, to his 50%. And, you know, right now I don't feel like I'm matching his efforts. So, you know, I need to do that. <laughs> I need to do that. <laughs> I got a ticket, or it was, it wasn't even a ticket. It was, um, like a warning or something that they were going to suspend my driver's license if I didn't pay $302 by a certain date. Um, and this was called, this was in December, I believe. Um, and it was from 10 years ago. I, we had a stray wander into our yard. Um, oh, she was a pit bull and she was pregnant. And the next day, you know, I put some food out for her in a blanket because I felt just awful because, you know, she's very like pregnant, like ready to pop. And the next day she went into labor and uh, my mom called animal control because she didn't want to deal with it. And I was, you know, kind of hot headed. I was like, you know, 17, 18 years old. And I was like, oh, hell no. <laughs> you know, you're not going to call animal control to come pick this dog up while she's in the middle of having puppies. Like she'd already had three. And this is a big litter. She had like eight or nine puppies, 10 puppies. It was ridiculous. It was a huge amount of puppies. And, um, the guy shows up and was trying to move her and I got in his way and I said, hell no, you're not going to move this dog while she's in the middle of labor. Um, that's cruel. Not to mention the fact that it, it's, it's animal control and he's going to take a pit bull and her puppies and he's going to put them all down. And so I was like, you know, I, I said, no, this is not going to happen. Well, he said, well, somebody has to claim this dog. And I said, well, she's not my dog. She's not my mom's dog. She's a stray. And he's like, well, if I don't leave here with this dog, I'm going to write you a ticket for having a dog with no license. And I said, well, fine. Be an asshole then. <laughs> he was an asshole, <laughs> apparently. And he wrote me the ticket. Well, two days later, I found her owners and they, they came, they picked her up and I notified them of this. I said, look, the dog's not here anymore. The owners came and picked her up. This is where you can locate them and left it at that. Well, 10 years later, I'm getting told I never paid for this dog ticket or the dog's license or whatever. And if I don't pay $302, they're putting a bench warrant out for my arrest. And suspending my driver's license. So 10 years later, I get a thing in the mail. And so I called them and they said, well, there's nothing we can do over the phone. Write a letter. So I wrote the judge a letter and then I get something back in the mail that says, well, unless you're in person, you can, we can't do anything about it. You're still responsible. And I got that letter after the due date. So they had already missed the date. And there's no way that I can get all the way down to Clarkston. I mean, we're talking Oakland County, so I would have to make it down to Clarkston to, I don't even, I don't have the money for this anyway. So not only do I not have the money to pay anything, but I would have to make it all the way down to Clarkston with no car or money. And I have an infant that's breastfeeding. So there's no way. There was no way that it was going to happen. And... So now I have no license.
it's like, oh, so you don't have a dog's tags? Here, let's take your light, your driver's license away because those two things have so much to do with each other. <sighs> I contacted them. I told them what the situation was and they don't care, which is, I mean, it's typical. That's the justice system for you, you know, and if I have to face negative consequences for choosing to do the right thing, then bring it on, I guess. Um, I guess I'm just going to have to... You know, I mean, it's stand up for what I believe in. <sighs> it happens. Yeah, and hopefully at some point very soon we will be financially secure enough that I'll be able to take care of this whole mess and never have to think about it again. But yeah, that about wraps it up. See you later. <laughs> Loves and kisses and shit. Thank you for the gummies. I'm really going to enjoy eating these. No! I gummies can't. are delicious. I love gummies so no, much. No, 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 no. Mm, that is delicious. So yummy. I'm I eating all of them. No, don't eat them. Mm, I want to eat them. I'm just going to shove the whole thing in my mouth. No, don't. Mmm. <laughs> I see ya. <laughs> From ice cream to gummies. <laughs>